Hello, hello. Uh, I got a request for a video tour of my retro system. <coughs> it's a socket A system based on an Atalon 850 MHz and a DDR motherboard. Uh, the motherboard is from ECS, also called Elite Group. It's a pretty early board. Probably out before Atlon XP, but late Atlon board. It has a custom volt mod for up to volt V core, stepless, enable and disable option. It has a new cooler. The old one was well sufficient, but not really. The system is running, running way out of specification, so. And it actually needs some additional cooling to run at the front side bus piece I want. So, bigger heat sink, sink and a fan. And uh, the real problem is the CPU. If it's air cooled, the motherboard just won't run as fast as I want in the front side bus. So, it's liquid cooled. Otherwise, the CPU can run fine up to just under 1 GHz from air. Uh, it's another DDR motherboard, like I said. So. We got a pair of Twinmos Twister PC3200. They run in sync with the bus, and the bus and memory runs about 294 MHz. Uh, running in sync is much faster. Well, it is faster. Uh, the board is completely recapped, so new capacitors and uh, yeah, overhaul overall. Uh, since we were on the water cooling side, uh, we had a copper block. It's a uh, maze too. It's uh, original from the era. Had it around. The radiator is modern, but uh, well, it's uh, roughly the size of what the uh, Black Ice Extreme would have been back in the day. Uh, but uh, the modern radiators are a little bit less restrictive, so it's actually easier to use those. Pump is a uh, Pretty cheap one, but uh, it's 12 volts, so a lot more convenient than like an EM German one with uh, running at 230 volts that we did back in the day. So more convenient to, to use a new pump and radiator and an old block. The hoses are, well, I don't remember the brand, but they're pretty high grade. And let's see, yeah. Uh, the graphics card over here is a Matrox G400 dual head, so that's two outputs uh, that is supported in Windows 98. It's a 16 meg version, so there are 32 megabytes options too. And then there is the max version of the card that runs even faster. Uh, this card runs at uh, 120 megahertz uh, GPU. 160 megahertz memory. This is my hand-picked best card of the Matrox G400s that I have. And this particular one can run benchmark stable around, in the mark around 160 or so on the GPU and 208 on the mem uh, 211 on the memory. The memory and GPU are locked in a 3-4 ratio, so you can't really change that. And the memory is the limit and also what usually stops the overclocking. So this card uh, runs in games and perfectly stable for the whole day at around 208 on the memory and 156 or so on the GPU. So it's quite a good overclocker. Uh, under that we have a network card, it's just a, a I think it's called AMTEC983B. I noticed this card is particularly good for low CPU usage. Uh, even better than some real tech cards and a lot better than the Tricom cards are popular for some reason. So really it can, it can make a difference, especially if you, if you see really limited, say on a socket 7 system I have. That in like a super socket 7 system too makes a notable difference in heavy games like Quake 2 and 3 if you CPU bound. Underneath that we have the uh, two Booty 2 cards. 8 megabyte versions only, but that's really only a problem in Quake 3 if you want to have 
with with high texture resolutions. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. Uh, not the special two diamonds. I think they are. I have repaired a couple of those. So I think uh, not this. I don't think one this is repaired might be. But yeah, that's the really two cards. They are good if you want to run uh, glide specific games, and they are fast. They tend to be faster in older games than the Matrox G400, but the Matrox G400 is a lot faster in later games like around 99, 2000. So it's good to have more options. Under that, we have the sound card, and the re reason why is that, well, it's, the built in one isn't particularly good, and on this board, it happens to be somewhat broken it's one channel isn't working properly so it's very low so to get a good, good experience i had to put that in or try to find a fault on the board but uh, integrated isn't good to begin with so and below there we have a, a controller card for a sata 1.5 gigabit it's a cell 3114 it's a lot of system either boots it, early system tend to boot it as a SCSI disk, later motherboards I have in a compact with an Atron 800 can actually see it as ordinary drive so it can pick and choose what device to boot from it. Works in DOS and uh, Windows 9x, so pretty, pretty good option because there you can run a bottom SATA drive, might be some issues on some system to boot uh, from cd room, but uh, some work, some don't. So. But it makes it cheaper and easier to pick a hard drive. You can run an SSD off it if you want. So yeah, I think that's pretty much about it about the actual components. Uh, the power supply is a Newell stock FSP. It's a 30 amp on the plus 5 volt drives and the Atlon tend to pull a lot there. And the CPU can draw. If you run it up to 2 volt at about 1 gigahertz, which isn't perfectly stable. It's the highest I can go before the motherboard kicks in its over voltage protection. So it draws just over 70, 75 watts, I think, around there, around 1 gigahertz with 2 volts. So modern supply system cut it really, they, they don't count keep the voltage stable. It's also good on the 3.3 volt drive with 28 amps. I don't need 28, but I need fairly stable 3.3 volts for the graphics card. Uh, quality of the power supply and motherboard affects the memory over top of that and it runs straight up the 3.3 volt as far as I can measure. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it about the actual system. So yeah, that's a uh, yeah, fan here. Let's just put it up here. It's there to cool the V2 card and the G400 when overclock they will run pretty hot and uh, cramped in stack like that. Okay, uh, I have put the fan back on again, so that's some really cooling for the cars. Uh, so let's start it up. See what we get. Check the bias here. Oh, the one feature if you go to frequency. You can see the bus and the RAM and the PCI speeds. And since the voted RAM and the Atalons use uh, double data rate, it's twice that frequency on the memory and uh, bus. Uh, The SATA controller, 160 gigabyte drive. Thank you. 
So Windows is booting, it's stored in some applications, but it's pretty much there. Check it again if we like. And yeah, we got fan spin as to say. some uh, yeah the voltage and frequencies and uh, rpms of the fan and so on uh, let's run a game let's run a quake 2 Time demo, but a benchmark more or less. Do we map the one? I'm running the dual uh, Bluetooth in SLI right now. So, for some reason, the Atom one isn't doing as well as some other slower CPUs I have, but uh, I think just combination drivers everything just doesn't seem to favor it oh and it's uh, I forgot to turn off the v-sync so it's locked to this monitor's refresh rate the other one I have is 120 hertz so yeah let's do that don't sync yep also unreal runs on the with the twos Time demo to statistics, so we're here. We just turn it on you know, to get the frame rates and stuff. Here we can see we're on 800 by 600. That's because I want to have 120 hertz from my real CRT. And we run 3DFX Glide support. So, yeah, here we have the frame rates average around 90 right now. At the last second, lowest, highest. I like Unreal, it's a good looking game for its time, really good looking and it's uh, supports co-op so really fun with a friend or two. This is just uh, the intro. Can we run something else maybe? Can run some Quake 3 maybe. Also a time demo there if you want to do that. This should run on a G400 card. That is now overclocked to about 208 megahertz memory. Decent frame rate. Most most of the time I play online I'm around one to two hundred frames and it can go up above that. Yeah. yeah. These are some of the games I run. Counter Strike 1.3 on our land. I've uh, got two vers versions. One is for uh, our online server. Uh, yeah. Because we three. So the Fortune basically uh, upgraded version of Elite Tech 2, so it's Quake 2. In basically, it's Quake 2 engine, Elite Tech 2. But more demanding. Kind of funny, gory game. Mm, yes, warbirds. I like flight sims. I have more but laying around them. Pretty much what we do. So yeah, that's my atom on uh, with my G, my Trox G400 card and everything overclocked. 
my dad, multi-coded. Thank you for watching.